brand new episode of Youth Diary. Today's discussion topic is problem related to the youth. And to discuss on this, we have Dr. Mohanan, pulmonologist from Rene Medicity, Cochin. Hello, sir. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Doctor, first, how do you define youth? Is there any uh, definition for youth? In fact, youth is an entity which cannot be precisely defined. This is because the transition from childhood to adolescence and from adolescence to adulthood is a continuous process. There is no clear cut boundaries between these. But anyway, there are a few arbitrary definitions and age specific definitions with respect to youth. Now, Doctor, we'll go to our first query. Namaste. My name is Arun Shankar. I am from Sarsudhi Vidyanikedan. Nowadays, uh, our youth are involved in so much problems. How can you classify these issues? You have to classify the problematic youth as well as you have to enumerate the problems of the youth. The problematic youth can be uh, uh, practically classified into three uh, categories. The first one is called as a thug, T-H-U-G. Second is called the users. And third subheading is the victims. Okay, that's Under quite an interesting thug, name. Yeah. What is this thug and then other two? The thug is the most problematic segment in this. They are the uh, they are the antisocials, they are creating atrocities, they are the one who are young one terrorists and really they are a threat to the society. Of course, they will be having so many problems in addition uh, which are leading to these sort of activities. Second one is called the users. These are the young who are addicted to alcohol and drugs and tobacco. And third one is the victims. Victims are the segment which actually really need help from the society. Under these victims comes, you know, the destitutes, the jobless, you know, the, uh, the people in the streets who are thrown to the street and are a destined bug and the orphans and uh, children of uh, broken family and all. This is the way that the, this is being broadly classified. Con uh, uh, taking these problems into account, there are numerous problems. Actually, uh, time because of time constraint, we cannot uh, discuss all the problems. But I will, anyway, I will enumerate some of the problems. No, doctor, let's go to our next query. I am just Lawrence and I am from Sarasadhi Dhaniyadhan. And my question is that are there any problems peculiar to young women? Of course, when compare the uh, gender, male and female, youth, there are problems with this which are common to both, but some problems are specifically applicable to the young women. Most importantly, this is the sexual abuse which we come across. Uh, whether it is at the public places or, or working places or even under home situation. This is a real problem which the many women are silently suffering and very few are dare enough to protest and take an action. There are other problems with women alone are suffering. There are a lot of single parent family where in the sense that the, the mother, the young woman is destined to look after the whole family on her own. He had to generate the income, take care of the children and uh, look after them like the whole family. Even if there is a father, he may be drug addict or may be having some problems. With two parents, women is exclusively looking after the child. And there are another group with the divorces. And then taking the divorce into consideration, it is the mother who is affected most because he is supposed to look after the children. The children quite often go along with the mother. In the same situation, uh, added burden to the mother. Third is a teenage uh, motherhood, like illegal pregnancy. The woman is left around and she is supposed to suffer. The child may be uh, going to the orphanage or somewhere. Okay. Now let's go to the next query. My name is Mary Titi Joseph and I am from Sarasudhi Vidyan Kedan. Sir, can you tell me what are the problems affecting the youth? The youth must be aware of its potential. The young women and young men form the largest segment of our population. They're almost 30% of the total population. And youth is the most vibrant and dynamic and creative and productive segment of our nation. It is the youth which are protecting us from the borders. The total military power is a power of our youth. 
it's a youth that is affected mostly in the war so recognizing the problems of the youth is of a very high significance for the nation w to defines health as a state of complete physical mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity two important uh, determinants of health one is i would say lifestyle and environment if you have good style, lifestyle if you exercise regularly and if you have a concern for the environment 70 to 80 percent of diseases can be uh, prevented you know in this era the youth are being affected by so many lifestyle diseases which are affecting the adults by above 40, 45 50 years a lot of young hypertensive young diabetics young people are developing a heart attack and also uh, smoking associated diseases which we call COPD previously it used to affect people above 45 now the young people are coming with symptoms of chronic obstructive airway disease so this is very important our, we, you must love our population if you love our people you, you should definitely love the uh, environment the ecosystem see in spite of so much of urbanization what is our state of sanitation what is the state of our waste disposal you roam, uh, walk around in the city and all here and there carelessly people are throwing all sorts of waste how uh, the well, youth welfare programs can be practicalized and youth should not be an instrument in the hands of others this is what is happening now the political parties are using the youth for their their own gain the youth doesn't recognize that they are instrument for creating violence and problem their creativity is not well recognized because of the lack of motivation so the youth should recognize and realize that they are in must immense creativity they are like the heated iron which can be molded into any shape so the future is full of hope the youth has to realize that they are the leaders of tomorrow they have to uh, rule our country they are the decision makers you know the youth forms i told you 30 percent of the population they are the biggest vote bank so they are the decision makers they are the people who decide who should rule us so this point must be in the mind of all the youth and the future of youth is definitely full of hope this this is the take a message i would like to add thank you sir you're welcome hope this episode cleared much of your doubts regarding health related issues if you have further queries please mail to us at youthdiaryrosebowl@gmail.com